Hi, I'm Julio Briones, and you're probably sitting there asking yourself, you know, who is this guy and why does he think he can help my home care agency? Well, a little bit of background. I'm, at the time of this video, I'm 46 years old, and I've been doing home care since I was 15 years old. Started out as a part-time job, took a break, went into the army. Then my father got sick. The, when he took ill, our family went out and we had to find help because, you know, he was on hospice, he was in and out of facilities. It was just a really rough time for our family. He was dealing with a lot of cognitive issues because unfortunately, he ended up with tumors in his head and that slowly uh, took his life. We made the mistake of hiring the wrong home care agency. This agency, they, they had no, mis no mission, no real vision as to which way they wanted to go, and they focused solely on that weekly billing from us. And to this day, I believe that my father suffered unnecessarily due to bad management practices on behalf of this home care agency and facility. And that became my life's mission. I jumped back in headfirst into the home care space started as a recruiter, worked my way through the companies, back up, work until eventually I became um, director of business development, and then moved into the world of franchising. I helped build uh, franchise units based on my own personal mission of bringing the best care through proper management, focus, and strategy, so that no other family can go through what mine had to. This led me to bring this, help bring this franchise system all the way up to $29.5 million in about three, three years' time. Since then, I've gone into independent consulting, and I'm here to help you develop your strategies so that your systems internally can help drive your business the right way by providing the best possible care for your clients. Another common question that I get is, well, Julio, we looked you up. You are a strategist. That's what it says on your LinkedIn profile. This is what it says all over your website. So what is that exactly? Well, the difference between a regular business consultant and a strategist is a consultant will generally come in and tell you, hey, you need to do this, and it fixes a specific problem. For example, if you're trying to get licensed, a licensing consultant will come in, get you licensed, and move along. If you're having an issue with your business development and marketing, they will come in and they will tell you do A, B, and C, and then they'll measure the result. Assuming you followed their specific program, their specific way, you should get the results they expect. That don't really allow for a lot of outside thinking, and they don't take into account things like who you are as an individual. You know, it doesn't take into account your background. It doesn't take into account the neighborhood you're trying to service, your territory, none of this. As a strategist, what we do is we take a look at your business holistically. What time availability do you have as an owner? What are your goals as a business owner? How is it that you tend to manage your staff? And who is the client base that you're trying to work with? And we take all of this into account and we build a formula specifically engineered for you. We don't try to fit you into our neat little box. We have this basic principle called fail quickly. And there's an art to failing quickly and we guide you through this. We need to know what doesn't work before we can get to what works. A quick question that I get a lot of times is, is there a magic formula for success in the home care space? The short answer is no, okay? There is no magic button, there is no easy button. And anyone who's out there thinking, well, I have a friend who says they're making 10, $20 million, or I have another friend who's saying all of this and their life seems so simple. You can't compare apples to artichokes, okay? You have to take into account what was their experience, when did they open, where they are, in order to really analyze their success. And another thing, a little trade secret here, no one talks about the struggles. Everyone likes to come in and discuss, hey, this is how I'm doing now, you should do this, or this is what I'm doing now, 
And then when they realize you're on that path, you now become competition. And let's think about this clearly. Are you going to tell somebody exactly how to compete with them? You know, this is not something that people like to do. So is there an easy button? No. What there is, is persistence. There is grit. And there is having an understanding of what tactics need to be strung together to create that strategy that will work for your business. And that strategy, along with, you know, persistent effort, along with understanding the art of failing quickly. And all that means is, by the way, you know, we're not talking about shutting down your business. What we mean is coming to the understanding in as short a time as possible about what is not working in your business and recognizing that and moving along. For example, I have a new hire. Do I want to wait six months to figure out if that person is performing at the salary level that I'm paying? Or do I want to have clear KPIs and metrics in place so that when the first month comes, I can measure their progress? Second month, if now if they haven't hit their progress again, it's time to have a conversation and then have an internal conversation with whether or not that employee is worth keeping. That is the art of failing quickly. Putting key measurements in place, understanding what those measurements mean, and then having a predictable and correctable outcome. And this is part of the overall strategy of home care. A question that I commonly get, especially from newer home care agencies, when I refer to newer home care agencies, I mean agencies that have been operating less than two years, is how long can I expect to break a million dollars? And I'm going to tell you that I have seen and I've personally worked with agencies that have broken a million dollars in seven months. And I've worked with agencies that have been in business for eight to 10 years and have not been able to do so. The key to that is very simple. The million dollars is a number. There's a lot of factors that go into that number that most people don't take into account. For example, what is your bill rate? How many hours per week? You know, uh, are you actually billing? How many caregivers do you have available in your area? And what sort of effort are you putting into your business to achieve that? And most importantly, what sort of strategy do you have in place that's going to get you incrementally to that goal? A better question is not how much sales top line am I achieving or how long will it take me to achieve a top line number? It's why don't we shift the focus a little bit and say, how am I providing the best type of care that I can for my clients and how can I improve that? Now, once we have an understanding on how to improve the deliverable, the overall revenue will come. An issue that is more crucial to the long-term success of your business is actually how much money are you keeping in your pocket? So top line revenue is a fantastic metric. It's great. It sounds good when you're talking to your friends and families and other business owners. Yes, I'm doing a million, two million, three million dollars in revenue. But let me ask you something. Or because this is a video, why don't you ask yourself this question? Would you rather have a business that is producing 750,000 top line sales, but putting $200,000 in your pocket? or a business that's producing $10 million in top line sales, but only putting $50,000 in your pocket? That is the real question. How are you running your internal operations? How are you managing your business in order to maintain the proper balance between costs and profit? Take a look at your bank account. That'll tell you everything. You know, is there enough money at the end when all bills are paid? For you to feel content with the progress your business is making. Your problem might not be a top line revenue issue in the, in the long run. It may just be a matter of streamlining your operations in order to improve the net profits. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you are looking for a good strategy or for somebody to come in and help you really take a bird's eye view that 30,000 foot view of what your business is, where it's going, and where you intend to drive it. 
over the coming years. You know, give us a call, reach out to us, click the link, come visit our website and book a complimentary 30 minute strategy session with us and really get to know how we work and how we can potentially help your agency. We look forward to talking to you. Have a great one.